So hi guys and welcome back. Today I want to show you how you can add recording capabilities that is a DVR to almost any of your FPV goggles for only $25. For, so for only 25 bucks. So how does this work? I will show it to you uh, for my new Quanum goggles, the Quanum V2 uh, Pro goggles, which I reviewed recently. And well, all of the magic, it's not really magic, comes from this little module which I have up here, which I will try to bring into focus now. So that's the so-called HM DVR module for FPV drones, woohoo drones, uh, which does all the magic. Basically, this is a DVR module which is only 10 grams heavy and supports, as you can see, micro SD cards of up to 32 gigabytes and this will do all the recording for you. So as you can see on the left side here, it uh, needs 5 volts to work with. We will go a bit more into this and why I used this little guy here, <laughs> the Demon RC a demon core uh, PDP in a second. So it needs 5 volts and then it has here two lines for video in and audio in. This is obviously the video and audio which come from your receiver. So the video and audio which is recorded to this little SD card here. And it also has video out and audio out. This is because you can actually also watch the videos inside your goggles which you just recorded if you cable this right and I will show you how to cable this, how to connect this and of course there is an OSD which is used to configure this uh, little HM DVR and for that of course you will also need to see the video out on your monitor. So first things first, I already mentioned it uh, why do I use this uh, Demon Core uh, PDP here? This is one of the things which you have to take care of uh, for that DVR. It not only uh, needs exactly 5 volts, which are provided by this, but it would also be a very nice idea to LC filter these 5 volts, because this one is quite sensitive to power noise and if you don't filter the power, then you might have some interferences in the recorded video. And this is why I use this excellent Demon Core board, which I reviewed before, because that, because that already includes an LC filter. So this is very nice. So you uh, can probably use any sort of uh, uh, a 5 volts step down regulator here. I will show you a few here. For example, these ones are available quite cheaply, these blue sky ones. Or even these come, you can get them off eBay, these adjustable uh, voltage regulators for almost no money. But as I said, I had best experience using one with an integrated LC filter. <coughs> so that's about uh, the power management here and let's now see how I have cabled this to work. So how did I connect this? Basically as you saw and I will put it out here again, in order to record anything this one will of course need the video in and optionally also the audio in and well, basically this simply comes from your video receiver. So let's take a look here at the video receiver and you can see the video in cable is this yellow cable here and with that I simply go to the second AV outboard of my video receiver. So most video receivers and this is no exception has come with two video out boards. You will need one anyways uh, to connect to your monitor and the goggles. And the second one, the second video out is here simply connected only the yellow cable to the video in. Uh, I can also connect the uh, audio here. Let me simply check this. This is the green one. I have simply not hooked that up yet but it is supported, audio in is supported and this will just be 
uh, one of the other two cables here which I have not connected at the moment. So basically that is the video in and well that will be sufficient for the HM DVR to uh, start recording. But we also want the video out because we want to actually uh, watch the recorded videos inside our goggles and this is a bit more tricky because for this I'm actually using the video switch here. So I'm basically using this video switch here which I have from my uh, Quanum V2 goggles. The V2 Pro unfortunately do not come with a video switch but you can order this separately and this is again a, a very simple device. So on the one hand I have here uh, uh, the first video uh, uh, source, the second video source and here is simply the power supply. The power supply is simply the 3S from your LiPo which will run your Quanums on or it can also be a 2S which is simply again routed out here to the PDP and then powers the HM DVR. What else do we have here? We have basically here the video in which is basically simply the video out of your receiver. This goes in here. And then we have the video out which is here which basically is the connection to your monitor. So these are the two connections which would normally be connected directly. So normally without this the uh, video in of the monitor would be plugged directly into your receiver and here we have this little video switch in between. And additionally we have here this yellow cable which is connected to the uh, video out uh, of the HM DVR. So this is this board here. And this is basically all the magic of how this is connected and with one uh, switch here, with one push of a button here, I can now select uh, whether the goggles, the monitor displays the output from the HM DVR or displays the output from the receiver. So I will show how this works in a minute. So this is basically everything which is there for the cabling and now I will show you how it works. Okay, so I've turned everything on here now and you can see this beautiful image from my uh, Quanum V2 Pro goggles and this is your standard image of your uh, 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 video receiver output. So this does not go through this HM DVR. So this is the, the plain picture from your receiver output. And only if I uh, push the button of the video switch, which I'm doing now, you can see it changes now to the uh, HM DVR output, which is of course also just an overlay of the image which you see. Uh, it shows you on the lower side here how much of recording cap capacity you have left. So over 9 hours I have a 32 gigabyte card in there. And well, not um, much else at the moment. What you can also see here is one, uh, well actually the only issue I have with this recorder. And it is only a minor issue for most of you. Uh, I have a PAL camera, a PAL FPV camera and for PAL the HM DVR will actually cut off a part of the uh, picture from below. I will switch it again now and you can see that a part of the picture, it is not as much as, uh, as, as you think, a small part of the picture is cut off from the bottom. So this is an issue if you use an OSD and also want to record the OSD and the OSD is only in the bottom, only then this is an issue. For me it is no issue but it is important that you know that. So let's see how this DVR works here. Uh, I will again put it in uh, DVR mode to show you first the settings and then I will show you how it works. So it's in DVR mode now and basically you can uh, steer it 
uh, using the three buttons here. So I will show it to you. So these are these K1, K2 and K3 buttons. If you are in DVR mode and simply press the K2 button for a long time, 3 seconds or so, it will go into the menu. And I will show this to you again and keep my fingers here so I can navigate the menu for you. Yeah. So you can see here the menu and you can see, yeah, this is, uh, I will just let you see it a bit better. Yeah, there we are. You can see the menu here. You can see, you can record in HD. Uh, D1 or VGA, so it uh, supports up to 1080 pixels in width of recording capabilities, which is pretty nice, but then it does only do it at uh, 25 frames per second. D1 is your basic uh, NTSC recording with 30 frames per second, and VGA is a bit of a, a lower uh, uh, rate recording. I will put all the information in the video description and uh, we will see a live recording in just a minute. So you can see, you can also choose to record sound or not. You can uh, choose the video time. That means only means that every 10 minutes it will start automatically a new video file when recording, which is a great thing if you have power loss or similar. Let's go to the second menu. And here you can see you can uh, choose the language. Uh, you can uh, do a system reset, the light frequency and the TV output. So as the quenums uh, adapt uh, automatically to the output, I have just left this to NTSC, but you can of course also use PAL here. And right on top you can of course uh, format the memory card. And the long push again will just let you leave this uh, menu. If you long push the K3 button here, it will go uh, get you into the playback menu. So I just this, did this. You can see this one moment here. And this is just a recording which I did earlier. Uh, it is just snowflake recording. If I now push the K2 button shortly, it will start to simply uh, uh, play this recording for me. So this is nice because that way I can also review the recordings simply and easily right in my FPV goggles. So let's uh, stop this and leave this menu again. And what I did not uh, show you yet is how to actually start a recording, right? <laughs> For this, I will go into the, uh, I will leave the, the, the uh, uh, HM DVR output. So I will uh, push my video switch button again to directly see the output from my uh, video receiver. So here we are, and this is also how I fly. So you do not fly through the HMDVR, which is an important uh, thing because it might reduce your frame rate a bit or something like this. You fly directly, the HMDVR is only connected in parallel to what you are using. This is a great thing. And now if you want to record, it's as easy as simply pushing the K1 button here. It will start blinking to show you it's recording and now it is already recording. So this is pretty great. I will also show you this recording, what I is recorded in a bit in the video. I will just uh, put my hand here a bit so that you can actually see the quality. So I will show this to you in a minute. So yes, well, let's go right for the live output, which I will show you now.
So you just saw the live samples and well, I would say I really like this because once you have set it up, it's very easy to use. It's very lightweight and you can, uh, well, uh, connect it to almost any of the FPV goggles. You just need an additional FPV out or a splitter uh, for this to use. The quality of the recording is also pretty high. It has a very high bit rate, which is very nice. So it, I would say it can rival with the dedicated uh, uh, FPV monitor, which I have reviewed recently. And the great thing is this now comes all in one box. And if I fly one of my smaller quadcopters, for example, this Airplate Assault, where I do not have an HD recording camera on board, I can now simply with one click start the recording of this uh, here, right in my Quenums. I do not need a separate monitor anymore. This is all one package now and I really love it. I will put all the links in the description. I hope you like this small, I would say, how-to video. If you liked it, please leave a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and I am looking forward to see you next time.